let's specify the initial guess values at the cell centers, highlight solution initialization, and let's pick standard initialization as we did before in the laminar pipe flow case. And right now, these are the values that all the cell center, uh, you know, the, the cell center values will be initialized to. And I'll, I'll use a shortcut here. I'll say compute from far field one. And what it's done is it's taken the values that we specified under boundary conditions and it used those values to fill in this, uh, this field. You can see, you know, so x velocity, y velocity, and for um, the turbulent kinetic energy and dissipation rate, it's calculated it from the turbulence intensity and the, uh, the viscosity ratio that we specified under boundary conditions. That's just a shortcut. I know, you know, I've seen students use this as gospel. What you have to, you know, really pay attention to is what are these values. And when I say initialize, I already did it before. So I'll just say, okay, discard my initial, um, what I had before. For instance, um, let's see, um, if I go to mesh info size, I have 26,962 cells. All of those cells, the velocity in the x direction has been initialized to that value and so on. And as before, you know, we can check that. I think it's a good idea to check that. Um, so I'll go into graphics um, and contours, double click on contours. And let's take a look at the velocity magnitude. And I want to color the each cell by its corresponding velocity magnitude. So I'll say filled, deselect node values. So I want to see the cell values and I'll say draw mesh uh, select everything here, display, close, display, this we have done before. And you can see that basically every cell center value has been, you know, initialized to a constant velocity. And this is, you know, calculated from U and V. Uh, what the solver needs are, are the U and V components, and this is the, the magnitude that you get from those two values. And if I zoom in near the leading edge, let's zoom in near the leading edge and then track how these values change as we iterate. Okay, so the solution, so we, so the solver now has initial guess values at all cell centers and let's go in and perform the iterations.